Just tell us about yourself first a little bit so we kind of know who you are. I just graduated with my bachelor's in psychology, like last Saturday. Whoa! Congratulations! Cool. Thank you. What's your ambition with your psychology degree? I want to be a forensic psychologist. So you intend to have a career identifying people who are likely to do things that are bad mm -hmm. or- Questionable. Hurt. Questionable. Yeah. Would you say you've applied that knowledge to your boyfriend? There's some things that it's like, it's weird, but maybe I'm just like so in love with him that I just don't see it. Okay, so wait a second. Tell us a little bit about James. He works in a bookstore. <laughs> okay, he's, he's, he's your age? <laughs> yeah, he's a year older than me. Where does he say he lives? Edmonton. Tell us how you guys met all the way back. Give us the whole story, how we got to today. Right. So I moved when I was in sixth grade, like halfway through the year, and people just didn't seem to like me, and there was always little things that they would find to like pick on me for. I eventually got to the point where I just couldn't go to school anymore. So we decided to homeschool, and when I did that, I was like, well, now I don't have any friends. The only person I would talk to for a really long time was Emily. Eventually, I got on Tumblr, and that's how I ended up meeting Jay. We had blogs where we would write stories. So I would see some of his stuff and he was seeing some of my stuff and we would like it and he introduced himself. And then from there, we clicked instantly and just started talking. So how quickly did things kind of go from friend to more than that? For a while, we were only like friends on uh, Tumblr and then we gave each other our Facebooks. At that point, we just didn't stop. It was every day nonstop. And is it always just via text? Yes. On your phones or through an app or something? Just through Discord now. I mean, I have his phone number, but I don't want to ask or anything, so. So you've never had a personal voice call with him? No. What? Alexis. I'm smart, I promise. <laughs> I listen. Has he specifically said he doesn't want to talk on the phone? Uh, he hasn't, like, explicitly said it, but I know he doesn't like the sound of his own voice. But even if you don't like your own voice, it doesn't mean that you can't just get on the phone once or twice, even just to check in. <laughs> well, it's a little weird, but it doesn't outweigh the rest of it. Well, do you feel like you guys are on the same page about your relationship and where it's going? I think so, but uh, on New Year's, it, I was with Emily and I was telling her about how I loved him. I really wanted him to know that. And she's like, well, just tell him. So I just start messaging him. And then he messaged me back a couple of days later. I do love you too. And, but like when he said it, I couldn't tell if it was like, he was returning the feelings or if it was like, just, you know, like, like when we say I love you all the time. Yeah, that's not a good sign. But I also, like, New Year's isn't necessarily, like, a great time for him anyways with, uh, because of some, you know, problems. And Emily mentioned that you guys had planned on meeting up, but he just ghosted you, and you didn't talk for six months. Yeah, in 2018. We were talking about going to a gaming convention in Texas. I was saving up money to get my plane ticket to go down, and then Jay just stopped talking to me. We didn't talk for, like, six months. Mm. At that point, it hurt, but it wasn't like, if that were to happen now, I'd be devastated. And then how did you guys start talking again? He just came back online one day and sent me some stupid meme that he said it reminded him of me. So we built up to talking every day again. What's he like? What's his personality like? So he's really funny. He's sweet. He's really protective. Every time I say something that's like even just a slightly bit negative about myself, he's like, no, you need to cut that out. Are you in love with him? Absolutely, 100%. I mean, I want to spend the rest of my life with him. Yeah, I talked about a future, like we're living together. We have talked a little bit about moving in together. A couple weeks ago, he was like, you know, things are, are bad at home. You just wait until I get all my health issues sorted out and then I want to move in with you and it's going to be great. What are his health issues? Um, he's trans. Oh, okay. So there's some stuff going on with, uh, with that, that he wants to get done before he's gonna move. Got it. Makes sense. But when you started talking, James identified as a man. No. At that point, I think he was going by she, but like online with like me and a couple other friends, he would go by they. And now more recently, it's been like he. Okay, so you've been present for that transition. Yeah. But I can understand why getting to a certain point in his transition is important for him right, right. to feel kind of confident in his body. But you also already know. So right. more reason right. I would think for him to be like, okay, I, I can 
trust her with being a part of this journey with me. Right. I mean, I would hope. And he goes by Jay or James? I've been calling him Jay since I met him. But more recently, when he started like getting like legal, legal name changes, he put James as a full name. Well, so can we see some pictures of James? Okay. This is him. Oh, he's cute. Oh, yeah, yeah handsome. Wow. And can we see some of your messages? Yeah. He's Mr. Moon? Yeah. God, you guys talk a lot. Yeah. Wait, did he send you that? That balloon and the flowers? Yeah, he sent me flowers for my graduation. Oh, come on. That's really nice. Have you ever sent him anything? Yeah, I sent him some classic rock vinyls. It was a Canadian address? Yeah. So it's safe to say that he lives in Canada. Someone lives there. <laughs> right. Somebody. Okay, so look, if everything is true, well then why haven't you guys video chatted? If James is just who he says he is, why be so shady? What's the problem? I mean, that's what I want to find out. That's what I need help with. Let's do a little background search on James. Send us some pictures and, you know, whatever you have, and we'll see what we can find. Time to move yeah. the ball along. Right. All right. Talk soon. Bye, Alexis. <laughs> Something is up. He's checking a lot of Hatfish boxes. And all she does is make excuses. I mean, they've never talked on the phone. Right, it sounds like Alexis is only doubling down on, on James. She's very confident that this is going to work out, but it could all be both. If James does not show up and say that he is in love with her, she's gonna be heartbroken. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on. 